Hi everybody, welcome back to my Shabby Craft Studio. I'm Martha, good morning, good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening, whatever it is where you are. So, on my desk today, I have the Ann Brooke, who is a textile artist. Um, she's doing a weekly challenge or sew along or stitch along not quite sure what she's calling it exactly but we were to make 52 tags and I was looking through tags on Amazon just for ideas and I saw some square tags shaped like this and I thought "Ooh, that's different <laughs> not your typical tall narrow tag shape and I thought square would give me a lot more um I don't know working space I'm I seem to like squares because I made this needle book the inside isn't very good I'm going to redo the inside but I like the outside cover so um so the first week is white and I know I have a uh, an off-white background here but this is my white and what I did was I pulled it together before doing this video because if I didn't you guys would be bored to tears <laughs> trust me so I just thought that I would do this online if you're not into the stitching totally understand that and if you don't want to watch I totally support that not a big deal not everybody is into the same things so I'm just trying to decide which needle I want. I'm going to try and start with this one, but I don't know that eye is going to be big enough for that thread. No, it's not. So we will go with a little bit bigger eye, and hopefully, I can I can get it to work. If not, and I am using a crochet thread, but we'll see. I might have to pull out the embroidery floss for this um, because this is quite thick, really, for what I'm doing. But that's okay. Uh, I'm I'm going to give it a shot because that's what I'm doing this year is I'm truly trying new things and not being uh what's the word I'm looking for I don't want to procrastinate anymore I want to <laughs> yeah this is ah I did it yay me um, I don't want to procrastinate anymore because I do a lot of that and I th overthink things and I'm like, well, what if I do this? Well, what if I do that? Well, what if I don't think about it long enough? And then afterwards I think, oh, I should have done this or I should have done that, which I do all the time. So I'm not doing that anymore. I am simply <laughs> struggling to get this. What the heck? Ow! And I do that all the time, too. I stab myself all the time. It's ridiculous when I'm sewing by hand. And I love to sew by hand. I have, when I was a teenager, I used to sew by hand all the time because though my mother had a sewing machine, um, I had a weird childhood, so I won't even go into that. But anyway, and I did know how to sew on the sewing machine. Um, I spent a lot of time in my room <laughs> let's let's just put it that way and in my room I would um either find fabric my mom had lying around or if I wore out a pair of jeans um I would use them and I would make a my own purses I did not, I was not given a lot as a teenager. Um, I, I wasn't given a lot of clothes. I wasn't, <laughs> but anyway, um, so, you know, a purse that I bought might get, and the other thing was I got my purses stolen all the darn time and I didn't understand why. Like literally I'd be sitting at my desk. The purse would be on my desk. I'd turn around and somebody would steal my purse. Yeah, weird, weird, weird. I don't know, but then I'm weird, so it is what it is. Um, so I wanted to sew that button on first on this little piece of lace that I have here, 
And then I have these. So what I'm going to do is I had them pinned down, but I don't do well like that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I think, um, now Anne is very efficient at this and others that I've watched like Rachel, so efficient at this stuff. Me, not so much. So this is going to go on the side. This is going to go across the top. So I'm trying to do a bit of do it all at once kind of thing. So um, I'm going to, and like I said, this thread is really quite thick, but I wanted it to show. Um, so I hope this finds everybody doing well. Are you also participating in this challenge? Are you just following it? Anne has a hashtag. It's 52 tags, H-A-N-N-E, made. Um, on Instagram, and she has YouTube videos, and she's under Ann Brooke, A-N-N-E-B-R-O-O-K-E. -O -O -E. And, <clears throat> excuse me, there's some really beautiful, already people have done um, and used the hashtag. If you go on Instagram, if you're on Instagram, and you just type in the hashtag, um, all the photos of what people have done already will show up. So, yeah, very nice. Very nice. Um, we had rain all day yesterday here. And today I have a raging headache. I'm not sure why. Just not sure. And I was downstairs. Tony and I were downstairs. Uh, you can see the paint. <laughs> Blue paint. I'm surprised I don't have more on me. We were doing more marbling. I am struggling. I don't know what the deal is. Um, everything I've looked at says you can use acrylic paint, thin down, um, to marble with. And I cannot get acrylic paint to work. If anybody out there has any suggestions, I cannot. It just, um, part of it, I think, is our water. We have very hard water. And our carrageenan is all gone. Tony mixed the last batch. And he mixed it too thin. So I have now ordered methocell which is a different sizing size which is that's what makes the water thick um and so we are waiting for that to come in from amazon okay now this hmm. and so that's going to get here i think monday or tuesday um because as you know all the mail supplies companies, U USPS, UPS, FedEx, they're all behind, all way behind in their deliveries. So I'm going to go down that one. Okay. Now I had thought about couching this rickrack, but um, it, it's too, too thick. And I need, in order for this to cover this card, I need this to overlap. Just, just a teensy bit on the edge. Ah, didn't sew that down straight, but that's okay. That's all right. See, it's not laying. It's crooked. Crooked. Okay. So I'm going to, let's see. This has to be sewn on here at the top maybe I'll go back and do that next so much thinking has to go into this all right so I'm going to do whoo that's thick that is a lot of fabric to go through all right don't pull too tight 
see if I can straighten this out a little bit so it's not overlapping quite so much. There's going to be a bubble in there. So anyway, so Tony and I were downstairs and we were messing with the uh, marbling stuff again. And we got a few more done, but the marbling paints from Dharma, not Dharma, I'm sorry, Jacquard, are, oh, Martha, that was wrong. Now I'm going to have to thread my needle again. Sorry, guys. Um, they seem to be working the best for us. So I ordered some another kit, but they only come in 0.5 ounces, half an ounce bottles and the colors are somewhat limited even though you can mix them um you know primary colors and they include a purple but they didn't include a green um we did a few greens where we mixed yellow and blue of course color theory i keep telling tony he needs to learn color theory because he doesn't know what it is he knows music theory <laughs> really well i said it's just like music theory but with colors thank goodness he's not colorblind um but anyway, um, <laughs> oh my gosh, but it's been um, about a week since we got the initial marbling kit and some of the paint is almost gone, especially the white. So we've been searching on YouTube more um, methods you know of how to do things found a really good um, class that was from 2015 <laughs> done online that was interesting there were there were some interesting tips in there that we have adopted but anyway all that being said we um, He's having a lot of fun with it, I think. He'd never admit he's having fun. <laughs> That's just not Tony's style. But I did do a short video of him just dipping some stuff in the marble paints and it coming out pretty nice. So we are going to be putting some kits together of various size papers along with um, paper bags, envelopes a uh, few um he's done a one but he'll do more um like a, a blank greeting card and envelope um he's done some white uh long legal envelopes need a sip and what else um he's done all kinds of things so we have fabric mordenting downstairs now a mordant is when you uh when you use in this case it's alum i think i'm going to tie that off on the back you use alum which it, you can find in the spice section or you can um order larger amounts online because the one in the spice section is very small now i saw ann do this i've never done this before oh look at there that works. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Anne. Um, so we, ooh, go down. So we ordered more size, which is the Methacel. We ordered, um, and Sue, I don't know if your size that you ordered is Methocell. If it is, are you mixing ammonia or vinegar with it? We read that you're supposed to mix ammonia or vinegar with it. But then if you iron it, it becomes formaldehyde. <laughs> so you have to iron it outside. I don't know if we're going to do that. So, um, but you know, the fabric would have to be. Now I have to figure out what I want to do with this. I'm trying to uh, decide if I want. Well, I'm going to be couching this on. Probably. Anyway, all right. So I'm just I, <laughs> I'm just yammering on because you know I don't have anything interesting to talk about. So sorry about that. 
I'm going to try and do X's here, but last time I tried this, I didn't have any success at all. So, um, yeah, so I, I think we're going to try this new stuff and hopefully it'll work better than, better than the carrageenan because that did not mix very well, but I also think it's because we have hard water again. Um, and that's why we're not having as much success. But anywho, he's doing a really great job with that. And um, he seems to be enjoying the experimenting with it. So that's cool. And I'm enjoying the results. Because <laughs> uh, I plan on using some of this stuff. And it's really cool. And so we ordered a kit from... Dharma Trading Company, which is out in California. And of course, everybody is having shipping issues now. I started saying that once before. So we don't know when we're going to get it. Um, wow. That is, that is tiny, Martha. All right. I think I got it. I think I've got it. And so that'll take a couple weeks to get here, probably at least. We did order it uh, priority mail, but I don't know that it'll get here this week. So we ordered another little kit like we ordered initially to try this stuff. And uh, we ordered that from Amazon. Hopefully that'll get here in a couple days. And again, not everything is getting here when it's supposed to. So... Um, we'll see, but those bottles he went through, he didn't use them all up in a week, but basically I said, why not get the two ounce bottles from Dharma? And they've been working really well. The pre-mixed Jacquard marbling paint and the two ounce bottles you can get, um, more colors like it comes with turquoise it comes with green yeah so i'm excited about that because i love turquoise or aqua or anything along that line okay we're going crooked again martha i'm going to pin it down because if i don't i'm just going to keep going crooked so until i get down there Maybe that'll help. Must be the way I hold oh, on top. Must be the way I hold it. Now my X's are getting larger, but that's because I can't see them when they're small. Uh, so I'm curious as to what Anne's going to do as far as more the next colors and, you know, what the, um, what the challenge will consist of as far as if she's going to require certain stitches or stuff like that, because um, I did, she did a challenge in 2020. I just can't bring myself to say last year yet. Isn't that weird? Um, that actually she did three, I think. And I didn't do the other two. I just did the one where um, she made a long, long strip on a spool attached it to an old spool. I don't have any old spools and I wasn't going to spend money on old spools. What I did was I hung mine and it's on my kitchen wall. And I love looking, I look at it every time I sit at the table to eat because we always eat in our kitchen. We don't do dining room. My dining room has a sewing machine, a computer desk, <laughs> a tower of shelves with paper on it for the printer, um, some a bookcase, bunch of other stuff so yeah our dining room has become uh, an office and a sewing room so yeah there's that oopsies all right behave now come on So this is nothing fancy, but I just thought I would do it online. Like, it's like watching paint dry, literally, 
but um, hey, I am, one of my goals this year is productivity, and that includes not procrastinating, oops, and not um, putting off things and not wondering if it's good enough. So um, I'm just going to be doing videos of stuff that I like to do, and I'm hoping my channel will grow. I'm at 1700 I've been doing, I think I've been doing, I've been on YouTube a while, but that's just because I joined to watch other videos. And then for a while there, I was doing, um, I was playing some flute music because I play the Native American flute and stuff like that. But anyway, um, those, I privatized all those videos because, you know, don't really, don't really care if other people watch them or not. And when I started Shabby Craft Studio, um, I didn't start a separate YouTube channel for that because I didn't know how it would do. So I just kept it under my name. Mm -hmm. Come on, behave. And just left it at that um, to be my name and then added the Shabby Craft Studio late last year. Oh, see, I said it last year late last year, just to add so that if somebody looked for me under Shabby Craft Studio, hopefully it'll show up. And you know what? Um, if you could comment below and let me know if my videos air, um, I am not a consistent sewer at all, am I? Stitcher, whatever you want to call it. Um, can you let me know below in the comments if my videos have commercials attached? I have not monetized my channel. I could, but I have not. And so um, I read that YouTube was going to automatically add commercials to people's channels, whether you liked it or not, whether you signed up to make money on it or not. So I don't know if that started yet. And I don't know if my YouTube uh, channel this is going to be a really odd shaped X. <laughs> um, shows up with commercials or not. So if you could leave me a comment below, I'd appreciate it. I hope I'm staying in camera. I'm trying to keep my hands in the same place. Okay. This is slow going. Hooey. Let's see. I'm right on the edge of this fabric, I feel like. So I don't want to run off the edge. It's one thing I'm trying not to do. So tomorrow is Sunday, January 3rd. And I'm late getting this video done because, like I said, I was downstairs with Tony and we were messing with the marbling stuff again. Um, or I was adding my two cents to it. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. <laughs> he was fine going down by himself and just doing his thing. But anyway, um, tomorrow's January 3rd, Sunday. And the Journal to Inspire first prompt video will air tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. So if you are involved in that and you want to come watch what I do, I actually need to do, a f I'm considering doing a follow-up video, a part two to that one, um, just because, I mean, my project is finished and it's in the book, but... Um, it's, it could use a little more tweaking. Let's just put it that way. So, I like that. I like it, even if I do say so myself. <sighs> so I woke up at four o'clock this morning and couldn't get back to sleep. 
And I think I dozed back off at 7. Tony got up and got Evan out of the bed and f took him out and fed him and all that. And I think at 7-ish, I dozed back off to sleep. And that's probably why I have a headache now. When I do that, I get so groggy. Ugh. I don't know if that happens to you, but oi, oi, oi. Makes for a tough day. It's like a hangover. <laughs> and I don't drink. I don't drink alcohol. And I drank a ton of water yesterday, so I don't know what the deal is. I don't know where this headache came from. All right, this is going to be my last stitch because I'm out of fabric in the back. And I don't think I'm going to carry the stitches all the way to the bottom of the ruffle, but I am going to let the ruffle hang over the edge of the the tag, the card. All right. Last one. Whew. Somebody's got some machine going out there. I have my, I mean, it's beautiful out today. It's supposed to be 60, I think, Tony told me. And um, so it's very nice and warm and mild. It's not raining. We're supposed to get a lot of rain in the coming week, I believe. All right. Yay. I like it. I like it. See? So far? See the little X's? Okay. So the last thing, I think the last thing I'm putting on here is this little, I made this little crocheted flower. It goes this way. It's not tatting. It's crochet with a very teeny tiny and it's actually out of this same thread so I was going to put that right there to sort of bring this all these straight edges together here and I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to get a longer piece here just so I don't run out in the middle of it and then I'm going to finish this off and then I'm going to go have some lunch and then look at my book and see if I want to do a part two to the uh, first prompt. <laughs> see, I didn't slip and get it out of you. Or you didn't get it out of me. Sneaky me. Then I have to decide if I like the second prompt or I'm going to change it again. Because uh, I feel like <laughs> the pressure's on. <laughs> A lot of people that have joined the, the group, and we do have a Facebook group as well, um, are expecting more than I'm willing to give them. <laughs> so I'm a little, a little stressed about it, to be honest. I'm trying to make this a no stress thing, but I, I have to admit, I'm a little, little tiny bit stressed. I have more than one row on one side. So this is a little wonky looking, but that's okay. That's all right. Okay, so this is where kind of couching is going to come in. I'm going to sew around this inner edge here and catch. I hope you can see. I think you're close up enough, but not so close. I'm blinding you with my hands. Hopefully. So I have my sliding glass door open a little bit here in the sunroom, which is my shabby craft studio. I love this room. We talk about moving, but unfortunately, <laughs> any place I find for sale, and homes are really hard to find right now anyway, um, but, and they're selling like hotcakes, better than hotcakes. Um, but any house I find doesn't really measure up to this house as far as me having my studio in this room, in this sunroom. So, you know, <laughs> but I, I don't like having a basement. I feel like it's a huge waste of space for us and it's a huge waste of heating and air conditioning for us. And that makes it a huge waste of money. So, I'm trying to see if I can make this look a little more. So, 
so my um you know i don't have i'm trying to squish that down i don't have um any what's the word resolutions i don't make resolutions i do have um last year i had a word and it really helped me to remember that word and use it throughout the year um especially since last year was a weird year anyway so my word last year was focus and i have to tell you it really did help me a lot um when I was struggling, instead of saying, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I pulled out my word <laughs> from my brain and said, you are not stuck. You just need to focus. So that really did help me a lot because sometimes I get so scatterbrained that it is a lack of focus for me. It's not being stuck. It's not being afraid to do something. It's just a lack of focus. I get to researching stuff and I can be lost in that for hours. So, yeah, it's um, there. And I like that the flower edges are sticking up. I had thought about putting another button in the middle of the flower, but I didn't want to do that. I think that's it for that. So I need to knot this, and then I need to get it on my, why is that way over there? Oh, that's where I went from the rickrack. Okay, Martha. So um, my, this year, my work word is production. I, I want to produce more things. I want to be more productive in my work. Um, I like that. And so let's see if I can get this sewn on like Anne did. I might have to do that part after because <laughs> she did something that, and I have to be careful not to cover that hole. Excuse me. All right, let's see. I think she had a much longer piece than this. So I'll use that for something else. Um, yeah, so production is my work word. Um, and I think this word doesn't resonate with me like last year's word did, but it's something that I really need to pay attention to, and that is health. I need to work on my health. Um, I can sink into the ice cream bucket pretty far. <laughs> yeah, ice, that wasn't helpful. Ice cream is my go-to uh, comfort food. Um, my cardiologist said on my way out his door, go plant-based. I've tried the true plant-based diet before I couldn't do it I was let's just put it this way I wanted to move out to get away from myself but you know that do... that does not work <laughs> you can't run away from from you and I became extremely an extremely angry person come on now Yay. Thank you for working. And um, agitated, agitated, really extremely agitated. So um, I don't want to do that again. And I also tried keto. But in order to have other things other than meat and cheese, which I pretty much could live on. I could live on bacon and cheese, but in order to have a well-rounded uh, keto diet, I think she went in there and back out there. And then she went down to the center and went 
there. Sorry, focusing. See where that word comes in for me? If I focus, I'm successful. That's why I really liked that word last year. Um, yeah, so when I tried keto, there's too many artificial sweeteners to make things um, taste good if you're not just eating meat and cheese. And though I did lose weight on it, um, I, again, didn't always, I mean, I felt healthy enough, but I don't know. I just, and believe it or not, my cholesterol did go down. <laughs> it did. It, it went down. But, I need to be right there. I'm trying not to get it in my nail. But, um, I don't know. There's just, you know, there's no proof that the long-term keto diet is good for you. A lot of things I've read say, don't do it long-term. Because it really isn't that good for you. Oh, how do you like that? It's actually looking like the back of Anne's looked. <laughs> how to do. Proud of myself. So... Um, I'm doing a mostly plant-based, um, I have eggs in the morning, some mornings. Um, sometimes I even have turkey sausage. Um, my lunch usually consists of a homemade bean soup that I make with a very low sodium stock. And I rinse all the beans off really well. Um, so that's been really great for me in many ways. I won't mention how exactly. So I'm going to go. I need to be able to get my ring through there still. I'm going to go right here. No. Hmm. Yes. I'm going to go right there. And um, so there's been more than one benefit of that. And then I usually have a nice salad somewhere during the day as well. Now I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm going to go over here and do this one as well. And so I, um, I have been reaping better benefits as far as that's gone, but I am not losing weight. I cannot lose weight. Um, I've tried the intermittent fasting, and sometimes I can lose a pound if I do that, but I gain it back the next day. I, however, am not a very active person, so I know that's part of my trouble. So, um, yeah, it's just been a little frustrating to, you know, cut out 90% or 95% of the way I was eating. Like, I don't have sandwiches. Um, I have a few crackers sometimes with my soup, like four club crackers. But that's it. And so it's been really frustrating to not just chow down on a submarine sometimes or um, or hoagie or whatever you want to call them. Or to not, um, you know, have like a big fish and chips meal or something like that. So it it's frustrating, but I'm trying to stick to it. And I'm trying to be good. And I'm trying to just tell myself, I just need to wait and get another blood test in a few months and make sure that my cholesterol has gone down. And then we'll see what happens. There. So that's my first. That's week one. Oh, you have to write on the back. Almost forgot. So this is um, 12, no, 1, 2, 20, 21. 50 hashtag, 52 tags, fan made, number one. And then you're supposed to write a quote or something like that. Um, hmm. So I think I'm going to write Production 
and health. And I want to have fun this year. Health is for loving myself. Production is for money. <laughs> there you go. All right. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I will find quotes for the rest of mine. So there is my first uh, tag for that challenge with Ann Brooke. And I am... Now I've messed it up because I can't get my ring back in there. I thought I was leaving an opening for myself to get it in there. Oh, there you go. All right. Close. So there it is. Number one, numero uno. So I will probably do this every week. Um, <laughs> so you'll know it's coming. And if you're bored to tears, then, hey, you know, you don't have to watch. But I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you very much. I love you all. Happy crafting. And I'll see you on the flip side. Bye.